out the goat yard has taken me four or five days of gathering up logs, fighting off uh, fire ants. I found snakes. And it's a lot of work. I take the... Uh, the lawnmower with a cart filled with, with tree trunks and cut, cut tree trunks. And I take it to my orchard garden and I lay them in the pathway so that I can go back later for another project and cover them with, with soil. And, I mean, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. And I'm just one person cleaning up the mess, but I enjoy it so much. And at the end of the day, I'm so tired, so tired. My uh, sixth day, I, I didn't do anything. I was exhausted. I couldn't think. I couldn't focus. I barely could move. I, was, I wanted to go back to bed, but I didn't. But this has been a rewarding thing for me because I feel like you're making the effort to do as much as you can to care for your livestock. And my livestock are goats. And, and the goats are what force me outside. My husband is retired Air Force. I'm a retired Air Force wife. Not that I was, you know, military, but I supported him in what he had to do. And I took care of the kids. And I'm an outdoor person. I love physical labor. I love being outside. I have always loved gardening. So this is, this is my canvas. And the goats are the reason, you know, my kids are gone. The goats are the reason that I, I get up and I go outside and I have these beautiful creatures that I get, I get to take care of. And they trust me. Well, they trust me until their babies are born and they get to know me and, you know, all that. But I love what I'm doing. And... I just, I'm grateful that I have this opportunity to follow a passion and build up something that is going to help them have a better life. The paddocks are for, for them to help control the, the parasites and hopefully it will, it will help decrease the the money it takes in having to control the parasites because chemicals are not that cheap and you know we don't we don't have in our soil the copper that gets into the into the food supply for the goats that the goats need for their survival as well and the copper helps keep the parasites down so we have to buy copper in capsules. It's called copper bolus and I've get mine out of Texas. And we have to give these to them, to the goats, every what, three, four, six months, and it's time for them to have it again. But whatever I can do to help keep the cost down to control the parasites you know, that's what I'm going to do. Now, goat fencing is expensive. Tea posts are expensive. And I worked for a while to get the money in order to do this. And, you know, I'm, I'm, building, I'm building it my way. Getting the paddocks in my way. I, I enjoy this. And I enjoy my goats. <music>
guys. Beauty had her babies today. Aren't they beautiful? This is the 5th of April. Oh, they're so pretty. I don't know what the sexes are because I was mowing the goat yard and cleaning up and I saw some floppy ears. Yeah, hi. Look at you guys. So pretty. You did a good job, girl. I'm so proud of you. Oh, look at you. Okay, the black one and this brown one are boys. And the one in the middle is a little girl. I know, you don't want me in here. I'm moving, honey. 